in my work with young students, I have come across the fact oh, that most young people just want to make a mark on an issue that they feel that is important on the day. And so what message would you have for those leaders who genuinely mm -hmm. think that they're doing the things in the right yes. way? I've, I've, I speak about this a lot, about the, the two wars that are going on right now. And the, the first war obviously being the military war in the Middle East and the second war being the propaganda um, and misinformation war that's going on here in the West. And unfortunately, that military war will be over far sooner than the yeah. information war that we're fighting daily, um, it will it will far outlast the military war. You're absolutely right to say that there are many innocent, for lack of a better word, students who really want a piece of this of history, right? They want to they want to sign up for any social justice movement. I know many of them. The smart campus organizers, again funded by Iran's regime, have made the the environment so that if you support Black Lives Matter, you support the pro-Palestinian movement. If you support gays, you therefore support the pro-Palestinian movement. If you support any sort of social justice movement of the time, then you also in that list, in your checklist of social justice movements will also be a pro-Palestinian movement, which has really morphed into a pro-Hamas movement. It's not just a pro-Palestinian movement because we all know that if we're, these were truly pro-Palestinian movements, they would be anti-Hamas. If you really want the Palestinian people to have a chance at life, you would want yeah. to rid them of any uh, extreme extremist elements that are, are leading them and obviously not getting them the aid, not getting them the money, you know, brainwashing the children, hiding weapons in the schools and the mosques, all of it. Where, how do we get in front of this? It's not just shutting down the encampments because it'll find its way into the classroom, but it is far deeper than we think. These influence campaigns have been going on for at least 20 years. Mm -hmm. um, when I was in college, you know, I was in, one of my majors was Middle Eastern studies. This was in the classroom at that time. Uh, at that time, the narrative was very anti-Israel, anti-America, um, and, and really pro-extremist. It was like, wow, we, we were wrong in 9-11, therefore, uh, and trying to really... Um, it was really the precursor to the apology tour of President Obama, yeah. where he was the one who only underscored that sentiment that was already going on in academia mm -hmm. and in our, you know, it, among many, many experts of the region where it was like, we're wrong. You're right. We're sorry we went into Iraq. We're sorry we went into Afghanistan. We're sorry we ever said anything. You know, we, we're sorry about the Patriot Act. We're sorry about profiling, you know, all of that, trying to really backpedal on a lot of that stuff and therefore, you know, um, really creating an environment where we allowed these influence campaigns to get into our schools, get into the media uh, and really do a number on all of our major institutions. And now when you look, um, their influence is everywhere. The difference is this. When you see philanthropists traditionally giving money to universities, their name goes on the outside of the building. When the Qataris, the Iran uh, regime, the Chinese are giving money to our universities, they're going inside the building. They're going inside the minds and hearts. They're controlling who chairs the department, who mm -hmm. the professors are, who the interns are, what the curriculum is, what the centers are. Um, in, in, in the highest levels uh, and, the, and the best universities we have. So that's how this, yeah. this happened so quickly and how they penetrated so deeply that you know, just stopping one group or canceling one talk or you know, stopping them from the, the encampments like we had at UCLA or Columbia, it's, it's not getting to the root of the problem. This is much, much deeper. And we have to really root out their influence campaign to cut the tentacles that have reached so far into our various institutions. Mm -hmm.